up through Lynchburg and stretch out across the Triad is a warm front and that explains why we've got warmer temperatures for some to the east. You know, yesterday we talked about trying to warm up around dinner time and that's what we are seeing for a lot of folks along that frontal boundary. You get that big cold front just to the west of this one here. This is what's going to help to drag in some of that cooler air. And until then, we'll see the winds kind of up and down and the winds come back up as that next front arrives tomorrow. Your hour by hour forecast shows when it's going to become a little bit more active. We've got the showers, we've got isolated thunderstorms possible for the southern Piedmont. Temperatures in those mid and upper 50s right now continue to hang on there through 9, 10 o'clock. Watch the march of this front, those it tracks east. We've got temperatures that'll dip down into the 40s. You'll clear out gradually through early tomorrow morning and a few lingering showers possible through 3, 4 a.m. And as we head into your morning on Saturday, it is going to be on the cool side. You're going to want to dress in layers, even though we talk 50s, because the winds will come back up throughout the afternoon. Notice, too, in the mountains, we've got another burst of some snow showers possible there. This is where we may also expect to see brief snow, a little break, some sunshine, a little cloud cover, and then back to some snow showers possible early Sunday morning. Doesn't total up to a whole lot under an inch it looks like right now, but at least may help for the ski slopes. Temperatures in those 50s, colder in the mountains in the upper 30s to low 40s, and we take you into the 50s again on Sunday. So this is seasonable weather for us. It's just going to feel brisk because the winds are going to play with us a little bit through the afternoon hours. Not as gusty though as we've seen right now. Right now you're at 56 in Greensboro. Doesn't that sound great? You made it to 58 there, 60 earlier in Lexington as well as Ashboro, and you're about to be rain cooled along with that front on the move. Maximum gust today, 22 miles an hour in Burlington, 31 in Galax, and take a look at the wind gusts right now. Coming up to 20 so we're starting to see the march of that front impact our winds and we may see a couple of sporadic outages with this isolated thunderstorms between now and about 1030 until that storm system moves out toward Raleigh. Gusts may be as high as 34 miles an hour with the heavier rain bands moving through and soaking you with some one possibly up to two inches in spots. So far we've had about a half an inch for parts of the triad that have seen some of the rain today and you can see the march of those showers kind of building through from south to north and east. Good soaking rains will end and we have sunshine on the way. It's just going to take a little bit. So overnight we'll see that rain chance drop off significantly and we'll see tapering rain chances turn to some snow chances for folks in the mountains. This is where we are seeing the winds relaxing, so about to drop that wind advisory that you've been dealing with all day. Overnight, you've got the fog, light rain, and some snow showers that mix in for Saturday morning, and then the sunshine also returning. By late tomorrow, you'll have sunshine in place, and it does become gusty. 30 miles an hour possible for those winds. Morning clouds out there in Mount Airy, North Wilkesboro, Yakaville, you're clearing and brisk. Mostly sunny late day, but definitely have layers on because the winds may make you feel a little chilly. Periods of clouds in the triad until we see mostly sunny skies late day. It is a bit gusty, but we are drying out. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. We start out with 54 on your Saturday, thanks to that down sloping west wind. 51 as we head into Sunday, then 50 on Monday. We bring in a few more clouds. For now, we've got you dry. Doesn't look like we deal with rain chances a whole lot. Wednesday, possibly adding rain, but we've got you mostly cloudy with cooler temperatures in the 40s. Back to seasonable weather again through Thursday and Friday. A nice ending to January.